Hey, you got Fox here. Today I got a Rod Woodson gameplay and pack opening. Um, this was my weekend league rewards from last week. Got silver in order to grind for Night Train Lane in weekend league qualifiers. I'm doing that same thing again this week. Got silver, so I'm gonna try Monday night to get as many of my head-to-head -head done before I can get them Tuesday because I get them a day early because of level 50 and circling back in a couple minutes, we'll, we'll talk about that level 50. I'm gonna open the best of the best and the team of the year. Uh, card pack open that you could do at 49 and 50 together. So the weekend league rewards this weekend were not exactly glitchy. Unfortunately, we broke a streak of two weekends in a row of pulling a full uh, ultimate legend. I think last week we got the limited Andre Reed, and he's still in the squad. For some reason, I haven't done a review of him yet. Um, pretty negligent on my part, but uh, we'll, we'll try and get one out soon. Now this Rod Woodson. Uh, gameplay will stand in for my review of him. I will not be doing one on him just because I don't think um, and I, If I already got a video on Rod Woodson, I'm already getting my thoughts on him So I won't need to do another one giving thoughts on him again. Um, I, I play with him for about I think eight games eight to ten games uh, Something like that um, eight to ten games with Rod Woodson, so I got a fairly okay um, idea of what I want to do and, and Rod Woodson and cornerbacks it's tougher to do reviews on cornerbacks not that I'm complaining it's just uh, they don't they, your opponents don't go to cornerbacks as much as we're kind of just sitting here waiting I thought I clipped out all the downtime but that is apparently not true I'll be back in oh no here we go one more I guess on stream I got distracted by something um, anyways uh, there is the midfield pack we are praying for something glitchy. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember I, I was praying for people to, to think of me, to, to give me their good vibes in order to get a nice pull here, to get maybe a Barry Sanders full Ultimate Legend, but no. no the, uh, they were not too generous to me, so we end up here with the Team of the Year packs, offense and defense. Um, take a look. We, we decided to go with defense. I don't know when it's going to go. This is this is all from stream footage anyways. But Team of the Year packs, level 49 packs. It does save until you're level 50. So we went with defense to not get Devlin on offense. Although Bayard on defense is just as bad as Devlin on offense. Otherwise, they're actually pretty equal value-wise. And I got kind of lucky there. But Bosa, not a bad card at all. Um, still, I'd think a premier right end. Of course, right ends don't do very good um, uh, don't do a very good job rushing the passer anyways, but he's got solid block shit. Not the greatest chem. Not my, not my favorite defensive end of the whole year, but I think uh, you can do a lot worse than Bosa right there at your right end. So, uh, Tiger Man wanted Landon Collins. We got Joey Bosa, but uh, I, I don't think that's anything to complain about too much. So, we ended up selling him because, once again, I don't think he has enough block shed for me. I really want my block shed at 99 because stopping the run means so much to me. It, stopping the run means as much to me as I, I think cookies do to the count. So... 2,000 points for the best of the best pack. Oh, please be the best of the best pack. So I, I waited too long. So this is kind of like the the difference between getting Night Train Lane a day early, waiting till level 50, and this best of the best pack. Um, it, it, we, I had to go. There's a lot more 96s to water this uh, this pack down versus if you grinded for it the first weekend. Still grinding for it right away was the way to go, as I think I claimed in my best of the best pack opening or, or basically showing video of, of 30 different people opening best of the best packs. Anyways, here we go right off the bat. What are we getting? What are we getting? What are we getting? What are we getting? Oh, Will Shields. Now, that's a solid piece. I'm going to go through how much he's actually worth here in a little bit. But we got two other opportunities. We wanted some sort of Vic action, a Rod action, a Sanders action. What kind of action are we getting? We are getting no action. We're getting some Thomas action, which is kind of like the action you get behind the Walgreens. Um, basically, it's pretty pretty messed up. And Andrews. Dang. Uh, no, no Andrews. No good. So those guys are all about going for like what under half the price Will Shields is. Let's take a look at uh, what Will Shields is actually going for. On stream, it takes me a little bit longer. I know right now what he's going for. You guys are going to find out in a hot minute unless you guys are on top of the market sniping the Will Shields pieces. Taking a look at what the Ultimate Legends are going for. But let it go. I got, could have cut this, but but why cut when we got all the time in the world? There it is. 728,000 coins on the Xbox One. Add another 30k onto that if you're on the PS4. But Xbox One, glorious. The problem is he is slow as molasses with lead the way, which is a, which is a pulling chem. So his chems don't actually fit the card. Um, but uh, overall, Will Shields. So we'll be having a full Ultimate Legend offensive line here. Actually, we do now. When this gameplay was taken, we did not. We still had Armstead on our roster. So let's go take a look at the roster. What we will be using in this upcoming game. We've had a few changes since this. Uh, by the end of the weekend, I got so sick of my tackles, I upgraded them. So, DeCastro had to be changed with Will Shields. And so, we're going to lose our identified. Um, and, and losing your identity is kind of a hard thing to go through. Um, it's a very serious thing, Jim. Please don't make fun of it. Uh, but the, our interior is all Ultimate Legends. Two slow guards and Matthews. Solid overall blockers. 
So our chems are our toughness still, our armstead not that great, uh, but but overall for the best of the best pack, it could have been a lot worse. Um, so it could have it could have actually got me three of those 96 uh, heroes, and I would have been very sad. But I, but I did pull, so the waiting on level 50 actually didn't hurt me that bad. I still got a good return on it. But let's look at Rod Woodson, the subject, the title, the headliner of the video. 98 speed. Now, this is not the version I bought. This is just me looking through stats. Uh, the version I bought, because I clipped this from stream, uh, this was the first one, first look through his stats I found, I there was a big debate on stream. Should I get the toughness version to get to 99 speed? Because, you know, you guys know how much of a speed slut I am. Um, or, because if you take a look at his run-stuffing stats, they're great, but not, like, obviously out of this world. 83 impact, so people coming at him um, to, to hit him, that's where the impact matters. Only 80 block shit. I say only, it's still very good, but... That could be boosted. I mean, I think I might want that plus four boost on that block shed just to get just every block block shed point matters. Um, and then you also increase the hit power with that and the ability to knock out the balls and, and smack the balls out of the running backs and wide receivers' hands, cause some fumbles, cause some incompletions if you hit them properly. So I ended up going with the physical front version and staying at 98 speed, which was fine. And there uh, is my defense showing up very first play. I was actually on defense. I am the GRL. Um, so nice work. So this is this is Barry Sanders gameplay too. I'm not gonna headline him because I'm actually gonna do a review on Barry Sanders. Um, but this Rod Woodson, like I said, is gonna be the only one. So one play or second play, we get a nice little uh, touchdown and over my head. Boo! Okay, that's night train lane. So I, I actually and here's the thing with Rod Woodson. Like you gotta. I think I mentioned this, didn't I? I don't know if I did, but here he is. Here he is. Oh, I completely whiffed. I completely whiffed my Rod Woodson. God dang it! Spare the rod, save the child. So we, we, we fortunately for him spared him from a, the, the the rotting of a lifetime, and we missed the tackle. That was very generous on my on my part. You're, you're, you're welcome, opponent. So let's talk a little bit about like just the Mutt and uh, Rod himself as we're on offense. So we got some reviews coming. Obviously, I, I talked about the Sanders. We'll get to maybe a Cam, um, Andre Reed. I talked about. I don't know where he's at. Uh, that to, as he gets a, as he gets a little uh, drag right there and gets a first down. Um, I don't know where his review's at, but it should be coming soon, hopefully. Uh, otherwise, I don't like to comment on reviews too much. We'll, you'll have a pretty good packed week. As for my mix between Madden and MLB content, I'm still going to get a Madden video a day. MLB might be once every couple days. Uh, we're still streaming uh, both of those things. Monday night, we will be having a crazy long stream. Going to finish up the Night Train Lane objectives. Um, so that's been a grind. All I need left are online wins. I think I got the yards, rush. Yeah, I got everything except online wins and daily logins. So, the Easter promo, hopefully coming this week. I'm hoping it's Monday, of course. I hope it's uh, tomorrow, but I'm guessing there is a potential for it being Wednesday. I don't think it's going to be Tuesday because you get the replay player. So, Monday or Wednesday, I'm hoping Monday, but uh, I, I guess we'll end up seeing. Actually, yeah, Monday would be kind of cool. And people were talking about, should I sell my team right now? It's the end of the weekend league. I'm like, oh, maybe. So, the defense is standing up. Rod Woodson is being a nice little, uh, I guess, defensive captain and causing turnovers. He's inspiring the crew, carrying the flag of Steelers Nation. Since he was such a great Steelers cornerback, I'd say, what do you think? Oh, nice, Barry. Thanks for fumbling. Rod Woodson was, what, second best corner of the 90s? What, who would you agree with? Agree or disagree? Rod Woodson, second best corner of the 90s. All right. So with the uh, other thoughts kind of on Mutt, like, uh, let me know what you guys thought. Uh, we, we'll have more of a discussion about, like, the Jake Stein interview during the podcast this week. But uh, I, I'm glad. It, it seemed like a lot of people seemed to really like it, which is kind of important to me and, and really – I think I think important to EA that people enjoy their kind of interactions with the community. So to see so many people talk about um, how much they enjoyed listening to the podcast and giving positive feedback to both myself and Jake Stein, they look at that stuff and and hearing that stuff means they're going to do it again uh, or potentially in the future. I don't have any plans at this moment with any EA, EA people, but I'm just saying be, positive feedback helps for those kind of <laughs> Barry, you you nemesis to everything good and right in the world. Um, so, yeah, I, I do appreciate you guys sending positive notes to Jake and, and, and tagging me and everything because because without you guys and, and if you guys were really – oh, we tried to juke again. It didn't work. If you guys were, like, super negative about it, then, yeah, he, he they probably wouldn't uh, come on anymore. And who knows? But I, I, I always think more communications better than none, even if sometimes we don't always get the answer we want or, or say they have to do PR speak because PR speak for a lot of stuff, like, there is some stuff – uh, that they can't talk about, you know, because they have future plans, so they kind of have to talk around. Um, so I got some some people uh, giving feedback on that. So, but that's that's I mean that's literally just oh my god, Armstead, that play right there. I think it, it, Armstead's performance in this game was the reason I had to get rid of him. Taylor, oh Rod, oh okay, no forced fumble. 
Every time I every time I want a one every time a 1.5 million coin card is near a ball, I want a turnover. Just give it to me. I'm just kidding, because generally my opponents also have one million coin plus cards going too. So you can't can't expect their cards to play that crap and your cards to play amazing. As Barry Sanders talking about a two million coin card doing nothing. Drop that pass. It's still, I guess. Still, unfortunately, the stats are maxed out at 99. God dang, they should really go up to 110, right? 125. Make this like MLB The Show. As we, we, we're really trying to feed Barry this gameplay. Uh, so I guess this is kind of like a Sanders gameplay, too, because it goes so much to him. But, uh, so yeah, I, I appreciate that with the Jake uh, podcast stuff. And uh, golden tickets should be coming, too, I'd imagine, soon. I don't know. Golden tickets after the Easter promo, right? Golden tickets middle April, are we thinking? Oh, we missed again with Rod. What's going on, Hot Rod? Why do you keep missing them tackles? What's your deal, buddy boy? Um, but anyways, uh, so I don't know where movers, position heroes, or all workers are. Like, a lot of people are saying uh, position heroes are dead um, and, and rip position heroes. I'm not so sure that's... hey oh, throwing it right to me. Uh, snatch your mama. We got it. Uh, so I'm not sure about position heroes being dead because they've been doing them every year for god dang, half dozen years. I actually don't know. I wasn't playing a half dozen years ago. I wasn't playing mod. I was I was a franchise uh, fellow back then. So, oh, gunslinger cam, you slut. So I don't know. Maybe they're just late this year. Movers, all rookie. A lot of people saying telling me all rookies were during, during team of the year, so we might not get in this year. That'd be really unfortunate. I, I think the all rookie promo is a pretty well loved promo. I just want weekly stuff. I don't want these big drops. I want big. Obviously, I want big drops. I love I love big drops of content. Um, uh, just like I love big drops of other things like. Madden drops so um yeah we'll, we'll see I, I kind of want weekly and, and daily content and then the obviously big drops that I remember that place specifically I hit the wrong button I was I was uh, pretty frustrated uh, I, I wouldn't say I, I was having a pretty good time this game but I would say with that uh, missed throw I was pretty frustrated I couldn't hit Y instead I hit my, I think I hit like X or something instead of the intended receiver so defense holding up pretty good offense pretty good oh do you see Rod Woodson like jam on the line of scrimmage and completely get uh Completely wreck him. There, he did it again. I don't know what the deal with that is, but it was a nice jam. I cover two. Kind of like it confused like the, the wide receiver on the route. Woo! Okay, we're trying to juke. And we got caught from behind. Bad boys, bad boys. Gonna catch me from behind. Gonna shed this tackle. I'm not gonna sing anymore. Wow, that was uh, absolutely pathetic. But we sprint to the end zone, and that is the end. Hopefully, you guys like the gameplay. Hot Rod came in hot. Defense stooped up. So did offense. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I will see you tomorrow.